Holy, we just hit the absolute jackpot on coyotes. Look at all the coyotes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coyotes in one pack. Looks like we have one, two males out here and five females. What an absolute amazing setup we have. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the collar right down here. And we're gonna try and lure them in out to this little point. If we can do that, it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, buddy, lay down. So we have chance with us. But we're gonna put out the collar right here. And the coyote should essentially loop all the way around into this little opening right here. But we're gonna be up on top of this big rock right up here overlooking this whole canyon. And here they come. We just got eyes on our first coyote about to step out 150 yards out from us right there. So now what they're gonna do is come right down to this bottom peninsula here, loop around and they should come into range. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Look at this, look at this, a male coming in. Look at another one right there. Oh my God, here they all come. They're coming in from every direction. There's our male, there's our male. That's the five medium that we wanted. I don't know if we're gonna get a shot off on him though just yet. Another one over there. They're absolutely everywhere. So what we're gonna do now is wait until they come to a nice stop, which will probably be about a hundred yard shot for us. And right now we're trying to find another male. Female, female, female. Oh, there's the male right there. 60 yards out. All right, let's get ready for a shot. That is going to be a shot. Smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. She's hit. She's hit hard. She's hit real hard. She's going down. Well, we did get two. We absolutely smoked the first one. The second one, we hit him a couple times as well. I think she did go down. Somewhere over there. Now, there's a chance that if we wait long enough, these coyotes may come back. Maybe. Although we did take quite a few shots. So it's gonna be a while. What a perfect first shot though. Dropped him right there. Oh, look at this. This one's actually crossing the water. That's awesome. You can see how you can just barely see. Wait, is she under the water? I think she was definitely under the water. That was kind of cool. But we got these three right here. And I think we're getting ready to take a shot. All right, that one's right there at about 80 yards out. We'll go for her first. She turned around, but kind of in our favor. Oh my God, I can't believe we missed that thing that many times. little bit ridiculous there I feel like we should have for surely had that hit a couple of times but guess what our coyote is still out here and that is a long ways out 320 yards but we're gonna go for the shot because you only live once right over the top oh my god we shot high what are the odds of that all right, there we go. Now he got some blood. And... 
Where is our coyote? Hey, you found him. Atta boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. So that's actually our male, and we did pull off a double lung shot at 60 yards out. That was a three very easy, so a very small male, but it was indeed a male. Now, my question is, is where's the other coyote? That's the one I thought you were bringing us to, and then you brought us to this one, which we do a blood right here. Yeah, non-vital hit. Oh, look at this. He brought us right to him. Atta boy. Atta boy. Good job. So our first shot got him on the run. Actually, you led him a little bit too much. Hit him in the skull. Second shot, intestine, stomach. Didn't lead him enough. And the third shot led him a little too much, but almost made a perfect running neck shot. Nonetheless, it did take her down. Ooh, it's not a coyote, but it's a huge mythical bobcat out there, 150 yards out, coming towards us. Let's get ready for a shot. Boy, that shot looked perfect to me. Except for I don't think he was 150. I think he was a little bit further than 150. Wait just one second. How did it take that long? For that bobcat to go down when we made a good shot. Hold on. We got some muleys cutting across here. There may be a big buck. Uh, doesn't look like it. Nope. Wow, this thing is taking off. I don't think we would have hit him in the spine. I honestly have no clue where we would have hit this thing. Oh, he's laying right here. Yeah, he didn't go very far. He didn't go 100 yards. I guess it could have been a long shot. Stomach, son of a. He took a step forward as he was walking and we caught him far back. 150 yard intestine shot, 26.33. Would have been a huge gold. But unfortunately, we got him a little bit further back than what I would have liked. Nonetheless, he's still a massive mythical bobcat. And that was pretty cool. Boy, these coyotes are not easy to find. I mean, yeah, we did find that one pack of them, and there was quite a bit there, but it's been quite a while since we've seen another one. We saw one running away, a long ways away, but then we never saw him again. And now we found one lone coyote out here. At least, I would imagine there's only one. 150 yards away from us. Well, let's see if we can't make this happen. Boy, that's gonna be one tough shot. I would love to be able to zoom in just a little bit more. Well, what we may do is actually set out the color here to get him to come out just a little bit. That should work. And we got her attention. Here she comes. Here she comes. Now, there's a chance we could be able to call on coyotes. Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> uh, but we could be able to call coyotes from this other lake over on the, on the back side over here as well. So you never know what's going to come in. But in this case here, we got our coyote out there at about 100 yards out. So I think we'll zero in for 80 and get ready for a shot. As soon as she turns broadside... We'll take one. All right, that's not bad right there, actually. And just smoked her. She's going down right there. All right. Well, that worked out pretty good. Grab our collar, we'll grab Chance, and we'll go get this coyote. And he found him. He literally ran right to him. Good boy. Good boy. Double lung shoulder blade at 115 yards. Actually, that's only a single lung. Hold up here. How did we push so wide right like that at 115 yards? I mean, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it, but... 
should have hit right back here. All right. How about we try and find a nice size coyote? Well, that's pretty cool. It's not a coyote, but we do happen to have a nice male fox out there. At about 250 yards. However, we want to make sure that there isn't any coyotes around here first. Oh, we got a black bear out there. All right, sit down, buddy. Usually they lay over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that's a nice fox. Nice level six. All right, I'm not seeing any coyotes just yet, but we're gonna go for a shot on that fox for sure. Now that's about 150 yards out there. And he is walking, so what we are going to do is put out the collar just so we can get him to come this direction and kind of stop trotting all over the place. I feel like that's going to be the best bet. That should work. All right. Now we can crouch down and get ready. All right, we got his attention. He is 160 yards out right there. Ooh, I was about to take that shot too. So I can't tell if he's actually coming into the car or not. It kind of looks like he does. Oh yeah, he is. He's coming in. He's coming in. And just absolutely smoked him. There's no way that that wasn't a perfect shot. I, I just... I am not buying that at all. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, that thing should have absolutely laid right there. A 22-250 to a fox. It's not going anywhere. Well, I guess we'll figure it out right now. We're going to throw a chance on the track and see if he can help us find him. We took the shot right around here. Oh, he's on him. He's on him. So then I'm wondering if the second shot did connect even better. There's... Okay, I thought that was blood, but... I mean, I can almost guarantee we probably hit him right in the vertebrae. But he found him. a boy, buddy. a boy. Good job. Good job. What? Dude. This night vision scope is off. We were literally holding back right here and we push wide right about eight inches that's the second time it's happened now unbelievable would have been a gold too would have been our first gold i mean yeah we got one but wow we got majorly, majorly robbed on that. All right, well, normally I don't like to leave it like this, but these coyotes have absolutely drained every single inch of energy that I have out of me at this point. And so that's pretty much going to be it. That's all we have. That's all we have left. I can't... Between the coyotes and the scope, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Yeah, this scope is a good six to eight inches off. They really need to look into that. I don't know if they even know about it to be honest, but I'll have to let them know. Cause that's cost us a couple of awesome shots. And they got away. It also cost us the shot on that uh, bobcat as well. That eight mythical bobcat. I'm just realizing now that all of our shots are pushing wide right. Well, that bobcat was facing left. And I'm pretty sure it stopped. But because the bullet is pushing right, we actually hit in the intestine when that should have been a lung shot. I knew that wasn't our fault. You know, when we take a shot and I say that was a smoke shot, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's usually a sure, uh, perfect shot. But today, we had this happen three times where I thought it was a perfect shot, and it wasn't.